Yo, what's up, people? This is a long time no see or hear. I know that, man, but I'm back, yo. I want to um touch on the new Ableton um push. It's a pretty dope machine, man. Um, again, this is just something that I'm just experimenting with just now, but I wanted to show y'all a couple of tips and tricks that might get y'all up and running. Like a lot of y'all are used to um using the the machine, the Native Instruments machine, or either the MPC Renaissance or whatever. So what I wanted to do today was show y'all how to um to load the samples up and chop them like the MPC or machine. First thing you want to do is let me go ahead and clear this out. And delete these. All right. And by the way, this is um Daysun Civil's drill kit. Um, we got it free on MachineMasters.com, man. It's a it's an awesome kit, man, and it's free. Like I said, so if y'all not members on Machine Masters, y'all need to sign up. Uh, what we will be doing is bringing uh the push and the Renaissance and Studio to Machine Masters also. So we will be the machine masters m-a-c-h-i-n-e all right so um stay tuned for that that's coming up real soon all right first thing you want to do is um just find your sample all right we can say we're gonna go with this one drag it over to an empty slot and here you go it's in there alright the next thing you wanna do is uh, we can go ahead and chop it so I'm gonna go ahead and open this up a little bit so I can get to the first hit and I wanna pull this bottom arrow or cursor over to about right there that way it'll start directly on the one alright now you wanna double click on that or right click on that and click set to here set one 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 here alright and what that does was it cut off the little beginning of the sample that you didn't want to actually use alright the next thing you want to do is find your little your four bars your two bars however far you want to go let me go ahead and delete this real quick that was something else that I was working on so let's play it and see what the sample comes in at or ends at and let's just take that part. Okay, let's say it's about right here, right? Take it from there and drag it over. All right, now we got that highlighted. You can right click on it again. We're gonna say loop selection. All right, so this is our loop right here. Next thing you want to do is go ahead, right click it again, and now we want to crop the sample. Now that just leaves us with this particular portion that we want. Alright, now what we can do is right click one more time and hit slice to new MIDI track. Alright, and this is what it got. We got create and we're gonna do quarter notes because we got it in a 16 I mean in um in a four bar loop so quarter notes would give us 16 slices now I created this custom uh template right here so I'll show y'all how to do that in another video but for right now you just click that click OK and what that's gonna do is chop everything up so now And there you have it. Now you can go ahead and say, for instance, if you wanted to lay down some drums, you can scroll over to where we got our drums at. All right, we got the tempo set at 90. Let's go ahead and cut our metronome on. Also, let's go here and delete that. That way that's not playing. Okay? Delete both of them. So now let's go ahead and lay down some drums. Uh, 
right. Now we could quantize that if you want to by using um, quantize right here. Press the button. It's set to 16, 116, so everything should be on the 16th note now. All right, so that's basic. All right, now we want to do is scroll back over to where we chopped up our sample. All right, so now we can go ahead and lay something down with that too. So you can hit uh, record. Cut the metronome off. And that's basically it, man. I ain't, I ain't trying to make no beat or nothing like that, but that's just something that you can, you know, look at it and use it to your advantage. All right. Till the next time, man. I'll holler at y'all. Peace.